Mom, you can't die. Tell me, do you think the surgery will work? I don't know, Tony. I haven't heard from any of the nurses yet. I really hope Mom can pull through. Come on, Tony, let's go pray. So you know the woman who's in surgery right now? I read her file. The surgery is going to be a piece of cake. She's going to be fine. Those are some hot guys waiting by her door. I bet they're her sons. Let's get some ass. Oh yeah, I want to hit it. Let's stick to our customary plan. Wait, Betty, explain to me the plan again. It's been a long morning. Oh, come on, Rhonda. You know this. We tell the boys their mom's surgery has taken a turn for the worse and that she might not come out of it. That will make them super vulnerable. We offer them support, hold their hands, you know, and wait by their sides until she comes out of surgery. When they hear the surgeon tell them their mom is okay, they'll be like putty in our hands. Then, they will do whatever we want. Hello there, boys. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh, no. What is it, nurse? Please, call me Rhonda. And this is Nurse Betty. Hello. Nurse Rhonda, please tell me the news. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but your mom's surgery has taken a turn for the worse. We don't know if she'll survive. Rhonda and I are here for you in this time of need. Thank you both so much. Boys, your mom's gonna be a okay. She's free to go. Yeehaw! Thank you, Jesus! Rhonda, Betty, thank you so much for being with us. Can we do anything for you? How about you just come with us to the hospital cafeteria and celebrate with some wine? I'm ready to get physical. You know you make me wanna shout. Get I guess. That hottie from two weeks ago, though. Hot dog, Betty, you scored a good one. What was his name? I don't remember. I never remember. He was all right. I'd give him a five out of ten. A five out of ten? He was at least an eight. I'd do him if he walked by right now. Betty, hi. Remember me? We met a few weeks ago when my sister was having surgery. You helped me through a really rough time. Oh, uh, hi there, buddy. Um, glad everything worked out. Would you like to go have dinner sometime? I tried calling you, but... It's my wireless carrier. Service is unreliable. Huh? You should get that fixed. Then we can reconnect. Oh, okay. I will. Bye. Man, I hate it when they hang on like that. Men are so clingy. <laughs> Rhonda, don't you think it's time we settled down? Uh, or isn't it kind of wrong what we're doing, taking advantage of vulnerable men in the hospital? Look, girl, it's fine. We're just a couple of young kids running around having fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Rhonda, we're not that young. I don't know what you're talking about. We're only 22. Um, no. You just turned 48 last year. Come on, let's go home. Do you know who's in the surgery room right now? No, who is it? You know that guy who was in that movie? Old Man Higgins? Yeah, his wife is in there. I read somewhere that he has two hot sons. Is that true? Oh yeah, Ricky and Bobby Higgins. I think it's time for some hospital crashing. Rhonda, look at this file. Her surgery looks serious. I don't think Mama Higgins will pull through. We can't do this to the boys. It's wrong. Betty, look. This is the score of a lifetime. 
Ricky and Bobby Higgins? Hello? We can't pass this up. All right, what's our game plan? Same as always, except this time, we're gonna have to over-exaggerate. We'll tell them their mom's taking a turn for the worse, and then we'll tell them that she's gonna get better. Then I think we'll have them hooked. All right, let's do it. Betty, this is moving too fast. I can't believe they invited us to their country house while their mom was still in the hospital. I don't know what to do. Ricky told me he was a virgin. I told him I was one too. Now he won't leave me alone. We have to do something, Betty. Let's switch hospitals again. What? Rhonda, no. They invited us here. How could we say no? Besides, Bobby is really growing on me. I think I may be in love. Betty, would you be a dear? I need a nurse's opinion on this. Uh, yes, old man Higgins, I'll be right there. Oh, Rhonda, I've been looking everywhere for you. Let's get married. Come on. Ricky, please leave me alone. Want me to dance naked for you again? I'll do it right here, right now. Will that turn you on? No, Ricky, please. Ricky, please, no, no, no. Hey there, Betty. I just got my balls done. What? You just got what done? I just got my balls done. What do you think? Huh? Oh, um, those are some nice balls, sir. Uh, aren't you married? Yeah, I'm married, but I can't wait for the bra to die. What do you think of my balls? Uh, this is a little awkward. Betty, we have to leave now. Ricky just danced naked in the street for me again. I can't handle much more. Relax. Bobby's dad just showed me his balls. I think that's worse. Oh, that's so terrible. Were they nice, huh? Tell me, Betty, were they built for speed or for comfort? What'd you do to them? Did you teabag them? You teabagged them, didn't you? You teabagging son of a bitch. Rhonda, geez. I don't even know what to say to that. Hey, Betty. I was about to go out and get some ice cream. Would you like to come? Oh, sure, Bobby. I I'd love to come. Bye, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda. I miss you. Come play. Not again. Betty, you lied to me. How could you do this? She died. Mama Higgins died. The surgeon said you knew all along this would happen, and he told me how you and Rhonda run your games. I thought we had something going, but you were just looking to score. You're nothing, you're nothing but a slutty nurse. Oh, don't you use that language to me, Bobby. I did a little research on you, too. You like to crash weddings with your buddies and sleep with as many women as you can. Isn't that right? So you can't call me a slut without calling yourself one. What? How did you know I cra- Oh, that's besides the point. It's different situations. I'm a man. I can't be called a slut. Oh, yeah? Slut, 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 whore. That's what you are, Bobby. What? I know. I'm a player. I'm a pimp. Don't you know the double standard? I can't be called a slut. I'm the master pimp of the world. Son, you're a slut. Dad, what? Look, we both just like to have good times with strangers in bed. That doesn't make either of us a slut. We just know what we want, and we know how to get it. Don't you think it's time to change that double standard? I guess you're right. So either no one's a slut, or we're all sluts. Now you're getting it, boy. Oh, Betty, I think I love you. I love you too, Bobby.